I'm Tsukasa Nita, a 25 year old worker. I'm an engineer, but not only am I good with mechanicals. I love doing DIY projects. Most of my furniture at home are handmade. Oh, what should I make next? I kind of made everything I need. One day. Um, are you into DIY, Tsukasa san? Hmm? Yes, I am. She is Aki Oshiro, one of our staff members. She's a very laid back, relaxing person, all the men love her. She doesn't even realize that she's so popular. Great! I wanted to ask you something. Is that so? Could you be into DIY projects yourself? No, not at all. But do you know a lot about screws? Huh? Screws? Why is she suddenly asking about screws? She forgot to mention, she's pretty much an empty minded type. Yes, screws. Are you familiar with them? Hmm, I guess you could say so. There are many types of screws though. For example, people usually use wood screws for wood furniture, but right now I'm into self tapping screws and. Yeah, that's enough. Huh? I was just getting started. If you know that much, I would like you to come to my place this evening, please. Wow, that was really sudden. Really? Um, what do you mean? She really doesn't get it. But she looks so cute even she is confused. Um, could you at least tell me the reason? Oh, uh, that's true. Well, I actually find a lot of screws all around the floor every morning, and I don't know why they're there. Hmm, okay. It could be some really important screws, you know? I'm scared that my house is falling apart. I can't even go to sleep. That sounds bad. One or two screws wouldn't make the whole building come down. I wonder how serious she is. So, could you come to my room to check around? Alright, then I'll come over if I get a chance. I still was thinking that was some kind of joke. However... Yes! Let's go right after we're finished. Huh? You're really bringing me into your room? How many times have I said so? Akchan found me after work was over and she brought me to her room. I had no choice. Excuse me. Welcome in. It's a little messy though. So many staffed animals. It kind of smells sweet too. This room is so girly. I haven't been in a relationship in a while. This room was way too intense for me, even just with the scent. I need to get it done quickly and leave. So, I'm screwed. Ah! What? What happened? There they are! Screws! They weren't there this morning. This building must be falling apart. She must have been frightened by the screws. She held on to me. Her scent was making me go crazy. Action, calm down and show me what kind of screw it is. Oh, yes. Here it is. Hmm. This is an ordinary flathead screw. What will I do if the ceiling comes falling down? They wouldn't be using such a small screw for important parts of the building. No worries. Um, but Tsukasa-san, I'm so afraid. What the hell? She's so cute. Hmm, it could be that it fell off one of the furnitures. Can I check around the room? Yes, of course. I looked around the room. I checked the places such as the table, the curtain rays, and the light switch plates. I checked everywhere that they could be using such a small screws, but I couldn't identify where it came from. What should I do? I can't settle down without finding out what's happening. I'm scared to be alone. Aki-chan, could she have some sort of screw phobia? But that should be a type of anchormite phobia, where she will be having intense fear while sharp objects. No need to worry, as I just said, your apartment will be fine. But I'm too scared to go to sleep like this. Oh, I know. She clapped her hands together happily. Tsukasa-san, please spend the night here. Huh? That's going a little too far, isn't it? You don't want to be with me? Um, cuteness is unfair. I just had to think so. And as you thought. Tsukasa-san! Dinner's ready. Let's eat together. Yeah, sorry for letting you do all the work. Hey, hey, it's fine. I'm the one who asked you to stay tonight. So, how is it? Do you like the taste? Hmm, let me see. Hmm? Wow, this is super delicious. Great. 
I actually have confidence in my cooking. I'm happy that you are enjoying it. Um, this is kind of like how couples are. If Akchan were my girlfriend, would every day be like this? After she cooked me a food. I went into the bath first. You go in, Tsukasa san. Uh, Akchan, isn't that a little too revealing? Huh? What are you talking about? I always wear camisoles and short pants after I take a bath. I don't care what you always wear. I'm here right now. I'm a man. I can't get over how airheaded she is. I mean, is it really okay for me to stay in the same room? I'm not confident in keeping myself sane for a whole night. I was talking to myself while taking a bath. Don't get carried away. She's just afraid of screws. She doesn't particularly like me. If I take the wrong way and make the wrong move, I wouldn't be able to work at the company anymore. I came out of the bath. I felt refreshed, but then Akchan said something crazy again. Tsukasa san, could you sleep in the same bed as me? I really am scared of the screws. So, I hope it's okay with you. Nope, not happening. I'll be sleeping on the floor, you'll be fine. Come on, why not? Puffing up your cheek like that won't get you anywhere. I politely refused her offer and laid down on the futon she had for visitors. She said she couldn't go to sleep when it's completely dark, so we dimmed the lights down, and I could perfectly see her cute face while she was sleeping. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. How could I be able to fall asleep in this situation? All sorts of chemicals were being produced in my brain. I spent the night trying to control myself. The next morning, It's been a long time since I slept so well. This is all thanks to you, Tsukasa-san. Tsukasa-san? What? Tsukasa-san is lying down on the floor instead of the futon, surrounded by stuffed animals. Could this be the curse of the screws? No way! Oh, Tsukasa-san, you're fine. What were you doing then? I was searching where the screw came from. For the whole night? Tsukasa-san, you're so concerned about me. I just couldn't fall asleep in that situation. Although, I eventually ended up falling asleep on the floor. So, could you find it out? Yep, check this out. I grabbed one of the stuffed animals around me and pressed the button on its back. That's so cute! The teddy bear started to dance with a little bit of music until it eventually stopped. Oh, it stopped again. This guy is so cute, but stops moving so fast. I've had to buy him a few times, but I guess he's broken again. She looks at all the teddy bears around me. She looks sad. But if you stick the screw right in here, I use the screwdriver to turn it around and press the button. Wow, it's fixed. You fixed him. Amazing. Which means... Exactly. The screws you found on the floor were all from these teddy bears. Yes! Wow! Tsukasa-san! You're like a detective! <laughs> you shouldn't be hugging me like that! So now that we resolved the problem... Tsukasa-san! I found a screw on the floor again! He's broken again! You will come and fix him, right? Huh? She seems to have got this taste for it now. She comes up with excuses to call me over. Today, you are going to sleep in the same bed as me. No, I can't! It could be just a matter of time, whenever I lose my control. What's wrong, Yamabuki-kun? The way you are leaning on the fence on rooftop and acting cool is making you look like an old man, you know? A beautiful soprano voice that could make me drowsiness go away at once reached my ears. I was leaning against the fence. After school, the setting sun was turning my face red. I was approached by an unexpected person, Hinata Tachibana, school's top guest and Madonna. She was a daughter of a leading Japanese conglomerate. My dear death's company just made a news for filing civil rehabilitation and suddenly I have turned poor.
We've been kicked out of our house and now I live in a worn out apartment. She must be crazy to come talk to me. Acting cool, like an old man. <laughs> well, say whatever you like, but still, how did you know my name? Of course I know. You're Yamabuki kun. First place in our grade, aren't you? Your name is famous. You're planning to go to Tokyo University in the future, right? That was a plan, but my dream is a past now. Don't you know from the news? My dad's company went bankrupt. I can live for the college tuition anymore. Guess I'm going to get a job at some normal company. It doesn't matter anymore. I've given up on my dream of becoming a doctor. Just anywhere that's willing to hire me. Anywhere with good benefits and stability. I feel miserable now. You're a strange one to come talk to me now. Hmm. It doesn't matter. I decide based on mood whether to talk to someone. If I felt like not talking to you, I wouldn't have. On top of everything, my childhood friend just broke up with me. She told me I can't go out with Shinji anymore now that you're poor and that she would stop being my girlfriend. That was an easy breakup. If I were in my hero Majima's shoes, I don't think I'd quit your girlfriend just because you became poor. Huh. I couldn't help but look up. The sunset was dazzling. Still, I looked up and stared into Madonna's face. Am I hearing right? I couldn't believe my ears. However, Tachibana Hinata's eyes were serious. You know, I feel a little sorry for you. So, you know, if it's okay with me, I can comfort you. Comforting? What exactly does that mean? Right. Simply put, I can be a pretend lover. You seem so lonely, so I think it would be comforting too. She was just trying to make me feel better. Well, I guess I'll take up on your offer. Okay. In return, you're going to do me a lot of favors, okay? Well, right now, my heart is frayed. My childhood friend dumped me. But you know, appearance wise, Madonna is more attractive. And inside too, just maybe, until now. I thought there was no woman with a prettier personality than my childhood friend Mahiro, but that was an illusion. Just when I was put in a tight spot, I saw the true nature of my childhood friend Mahiro. The girl wasn't just dating me, money. My father's huge inheritance, well now, is in the hand of bankruptcy trustee to be disposed of, but... She was probably after the inheritance that I would have had in the future. Pretend lovers, guess I'll check up on the offer. I found bad for a lady like you to be paired with a poor nerd like me though. Don't worry about it. It's not like we are going to be real lovers. You can take it easy. People will probably make rumors, but we're just pretending. Okay, that's very comforting. Then we have a deal. For now, I'll pretend to be your girlfriend for a week. Then she held up her right hand to me. You want to shake hands? Well, I guess. I'll have you shake my hand as a proof of our deal. Oh, okay. I fidget it and look into my palm to see if it was dirty. It seemed okay. Take care of me, Shinji Yamabuki-kun. Likewise. Shinji-kun, why don't we go home together first? So we can have an important talk at a fancy restaurant. Oh yeah. I was lonely after being dumped by my childhood friend. So I took it up on her offer. After school, we got into Lamborghini driving her personal chauffeur and drove in the luxury car for more about 30 minutes. I was having a hard time accepting the reality that I was sitting in a comfortable back seat and that a school's Madonna was somehow sitting next to me. I was in a dreamy daze when I entered the mansion. Shinjikun, this is the restaurant I frequently visit. To start off, let's have the boy bring us a cup of tea. Looks insanely expensive. It was a gorgeous private room. The tables are chairs too. I could tell by looking at them that they were expensive. Right now, I'm the son of a poor man because my father's company went bankrupt. I felt very uncomfortable and out of place. I wanted to go home as soon as, as possible. 
Eventually, tea and delicious looking cake were laid out in front of us. You know, I really hate to tell you this, but your father's company applied for the civil rehabilitation law, right, Shinjukun? Um, yeah. We're in a lot of debt, and now we're stuck trying to pay it off. It's sad of me to say this, but my father is going around bowing headbangs. You want my help? Huh? If your father's company comes under my father's company, we can pay off the debt instead. Oh. I know that Shinji-kun's father's company has a great technology for data analysis. Specifically, how to obtain useful knowledge from big data based on statistics, informatics, and mathematical science, right? I've heard that there are many engineers can do sophisticated data handling in systematizing and speeding up processing skills necessary for big data processing. Gump, I swat on my spit. Could it be the reason you approached me was because you want technology? No, it's not that. I simply want to help you. My dad could easily save your father, so... I felt so bad that your childhood girlfriend dumped you. That's why I approached you. I caught a glimpse of madness in the eyes of mad owner, Hinata Tachibana's cute face. I felt discouraged at once. The luxury's room now looked colorless. I'm going home. My dad's waiting for me at home. Oh hey, not a bad deal, right? It's not often you just happen to be offered help, just when I need it, right? This... this is a contract. Read it. It's not a bad deal. I look through the contract and mutter to myself one. This contract is trying to steal our technology. I can handle over our technology so easily. Excuse me! The door to the private room opened with a bang. And my childhood friend Mahiro was there. I knew you had that kind of intentions when you approached my Shinji, Hinata Tachibana. My hero. Oh, hey, why are you here? Huh, I put a bug in Shinji's uniform, so I knew where to find you and came as fast as I could with daddy. He's at the car right now. Take a breath. Then I continued. You know, my father's company's data analysis technology is the result of the blood-soaked hard work of my father and his employees. It's not something I can give away so easily. I spat out, took Mahiro's hand, and walked out of the store. Outside, I took a breather. I was out of breath and exhausted. This was the right thing to do. I didn't give in to Madonna's sweet talk. I still don't know what's going to happen to my dad's company, and I'm worried about it. Shinji, come on, cheer up! Yeah, I know, but you freaked me out. I can't believe you planted a bug in my uniform's right pocket. I put my hand in my pocket and I took it out. I feel bad, but Shinji, I have good news. That is... I talked to my dad about your dad company's situation. Hmm? <laughs> if Shinji's dad's company can get a loan from my dad's company... Huh? I didn't tell you, but my dad is the head of the board. So I plead him to give loan for Shinji's dad's company to start fresh. Uh, you... you did that? I did my best to find out what was going on. It turns out that the reason Shinji's company is out of business is because of the school Madonna's dad. He got to your dad's business partners to stop placing orders to your dad's company. That was why Shinji's company went down. My tears were spilling out. I was thinking what a man doing crying. I was so happy that Mahiro had done so much research and looking around for me. Mahiro, thank you. The reason I dumped Shinji. That was on purpose, you know. I knew that Madonna was going to approach you to attempt something. So I felt bad. But I had your uniform bagged. Then as I expected, you were talking business. I guess I wasn't dumped. That's right! There is no way I would dump my childhood boyfriend Shinji so easily. We hugged. My steps were light after that. When I came home, I told my father about the loan and he was extremely happy. It was the moment my dad's eyes started shining towards a new start. <laughs>